G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews today. Something really interesting, Martin Bart, is it? I, can't, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but Martin, the inventor, the developer of the now very famous and very popular Pagoda antenna, has come up with another new antenna. And this time it's a triple feed patch, he calls it. It's a, a antenna with some gain, which means it's directional and it should improve your FPV experience when you're sort of getting out to the limits of normal range. And this is it. This is the thing, it's got a number of um, little features, little benefits to it, which uh, if it works out in practice should be really, really good. Let's take it off the goggles. It comes, sent it to me with a little um, semi-rigid coax here to connect up to your goggles. And I've been using it on the Aonway Commanders with good results so far. Um, take a look at it. Here is the active element, the active element being the thing that um, has the RF going through it when it, the RF arrives on here and some of it is effectively induced into this and then it comes through there's three little conductors in there if I can hold it up probably see there's three little wires in there um, which then brings it through to the back plane and in the back here we have some basically a, it's not tuning but it is effectively phasing which enables one of the other cool features of this antenna it can be used right hand or left hand circularly polarized so it'll work in Either way, depending on which of these connectors you actually use. Now, if you're using, in this case, I've got right hand circularly polarized, um, you put a terminator on the other connector. That is basically so you the impedance is matched. Otherwise, you get all sorts of the signals bouncing around in here and it reduces the performance. But the I've used it for right hand, but if I wanted to run left hand, I would simply unscrew this from here, unscrew the terminator, so swap these two over basically, and then it becomes a left hand circularly polarized antenna, which is kind of cool because to date, if you wanted to go left or right, you had to buy a left or right hand polarized antenna, and you can't mix them with very good results. If you use a left hand on your quad or your model and a right hand on your goggles, or vice versa, you're going to get poor results. Not going to be good results at all. In fact, I did a little video the other day showing just how bad the the uh, how bad the results can be. Here's a little bit of footage from that video and you'll notice that there's a lot of dropouts and lots of flickering and flashing and that's because you're getting a lot of multi-pathing. The reflections are being picked up more strongly than the original signal so they effectively null out the signal that you want. The reflections effectively cancel out that primary signal and you get really bad effects. You want the same polarization both ends and then you get the the reflected signals being largely ignored, not totally, but largely ignored. Now, claims for fame to this is it's very close to an axial or 1.0 axial ratio, which means it basically should reject reverse polarized signals. I've done a bit of empirical testing. I haven't put this on a jig and tested it up yet. What I've done is I took it out and flew it. I figured, hey, you know, there's a quick way to find out, get a rough feel for it. So I took it out and I flew it. And here's a flight I made uh, over quite a bit of distance. I don't usually fly this far away. Uh, when I'm flying my mini quad and you'll notice that in this flight I've gone right over the back of our horse racing track here it's quite a distance and I've gone up and down and all over the place and the reception has been pretty damn good on the occasions when the signal dropped out it's mainly because I've been turning my head trying to get the strongest signal because it's directional and that means that as I've gone off the edges of the beam it's got a bit grainy or a bit flickery but overall I was reasonably impressed with the performance of this antenna now one thing that did surprise me is that it doesn't seem to have that good a, it, it, despite the axial ratio, it doesn't seem to do that good a job of um, eliminating the reflections. I was a bit surprised on that. In fact, I, just using the good old Aonway Omni, I sometimes got better results than this antenna when it came to dealing with multi-pathing. So, hmm, I don't know what's going on there. I think possibly that is to do with the angle at which the reflected wave hits the antenna. Uh, looking at the diagrams that Martin sent me, it looks as if you have a wave that approaches from a high angle, high azimuth, or a low azimuth, it can be, the, the polarization seems to change a bit, so maybe not as good as some other antennas in that regard, but certainly it's a great alternative to a conventional linear patch, because linear patches work okay, um, but they can produce multi-pathing issues at close range too. This is just an alternative to that, with the big benefit that you get to choose your polarization by just changing the plugs over. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I did some flying, I'll give you some lovely music to listen to. You can watch some of these videos and I'll put little notations on here so you know what you're looking at. And you can just do a rough comparison. As I say, this is not scientific at this stage. I just wanted to go out and have a fly, try these things out, see if they actually worked. And mm, it seems to work. What I will be doing is a follow-up video. I'll be putting it out there. I'll be measuring um, the relative gain and I'll be measuring the circular polarization, the resistance to reflected waveforms, and I'll be trying to get an idea of the beam width. So we'll compare it to some other popular antennas, linear patches, 
helicals, and of course, regular omnidirectionals. So there you go. I'll leave you with some of the footage. Enjoy, and if you've got comments, questions, put them in the usual place, and I'll do my best to answer them. In the meantime, thank you, Martin, for sending this in. I noticed there's someone else on here too. It's Martin and Tom, uh, Robin. Rob, I can't say his surname either. Martin and Robin. Obviously, it's a joint uh, design between the two of them. So there you go. And of course, this is an open source antenna, so you can uh, build it yourself or get a board made up. I'm sure lots of companies, if this turns out to be as good as it may be, then you'll have lots of companies knocking those or making versions of these, shall we say. But of course, um, as I found out with the EA Sheen Pagoda, uh, critical that you get the dimensions and the spacings and the angles and everything dead right. Otherwise, you're not going to get the required results. There you go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later on. Bye for now.